Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Eric, KJ4YZI with Ham Radio Concepts, keeping you informed with some of the latest and greatest tech and radio stuff. And I have here something that nobody else has as far as I know. This is, well, I guess I'm the only one to have one. And a lot of people, especially during hurricanes and stuff, I always seen people on Facebook and YouTube and everywhere else, how to turn your iPhone into a walkie-talkie with an app that requires cell phone coverage and or Wi-Fi to use, which makes it useless to turn your iPhone into a walkie-talkie, especially when you lose Wi-Fi and internet. So what I have here to get right to it is what I think is the very first iPhone radio case with a built-in UHF transmitter as well as a battery bank built in. And we're gonna talk about this thing and how it can take your iPhone and turn it into a UHF walkie-talkie and also a built-in battery bank. Not to mention a cool looking case that looks a lot better than your flap here. So let's talk about this. Let's see what you all think. place to come for amateur radio videos. So this comes to me from China. And currently right now, um, it is on pre-order, which they're not even selling it yet. The links are in the description. And I'm going to show you the website just so you know. But I'm not even sure the real name of this. When you look online, it's called the DT number one iPhone radio case. And there's really no brand associated with it. From my knowledge, this came from somewhat like an Indiegogo. They put some of these out and they said, hey, if, you, you know, if we make these, we reach enough orders. Um, if people are interested enough, we will you know, collect the funds and as soon as it's released, you get one or you get one at 25% or however that works with the Indiegogo. It's like a, kind of like a, I guess a Kickstarter thing maybe. So you can't just go online and buy this yet. I think you can pre-order it, but I will show you about that. And they come in various sizes for different iPhones and a couple different colors. So the box here suggests that there are Three different ones here. So here's the, the DT number one. And it does have, uh, I don't even know if that's real or not, the I, uh, FCC. I'm not sure if that's a legit number. But uh, we'll have to investigate that. So 5.8, 5.5, and 4.7. So I have an iPhone 6. And this uh, fits in this unit. Now if you have the iPhone 10, they make the 5.8 inch for the iPhone 10. In green and orange. So I picked... Uh, you know, this color because I thought it matched my ham radio concepts orange logo. <laughs> so, not to do an unboxing, but need to, okay? So it comes with a manual. And the manual is written in like nine different languages. Um, the, the thing with the manual is it only covers basic functions. You know, what the buttons do, <clears throat> you know, uh, how it looks on here and such. Not a whole lot of information on how to use this, right? But it does come in various languages. I mean, that's, that's the English portion right here. And then you have all this here, which is different languages. So kind of gives you an idea. Now, this comes with the device here. This is the, again, 4.7 inch orange iPhone case. It does act sort of like a rugged case. Um, this will not turn your iPhone into a submersible, but apparently this is waterproof and shockproof itself. Um, the speaker is up here. The microphone that you're talking into on a radio is down here. On the, it does have the buttons molded here for the volume on your iPhone as well as the power button on your iPhone. So they match up when you put the unit in the case. The hole cut out for the camera in the back and your PTT button is on the side here, right there. So that's your PTT button for the radio itself. 
hidden in here. There's like a, a felt uh, backing here so that your iPhone uh, is you know not sliding around in there. It's kind of like felt. In here, there's a reset button. And I, I guess the manual says if you're having issues, you can push a pin in there and reset it. I haven't done that yet. And on top, it has a little cap here covering the SMA female for the antenna. Now, so we'll show you this. It does come with two antennas, a short one and a long one. So if you're not like one of the ham guys and you're, you really don't want to look too out of place, you can use the little stubby. And the little stubby, apparently both of these are for UHF, but one is longer. I'm going to guess you would get a little better performance out of the longer one. Um, but that's how it looks with the short one. And then if you take the short one off and put the long one on, kind of looks like my box chip or my R-Finder, right? A little bit longer. So it comes with two antennas. Can you use your own antenna as long as it's UHF and it fits SMA female? Yeah, sure. And it also comes with this cable here. Now this cable has a USB on one side and an iPhone connector on the other, the new iPhone connector. Now leave in the comments because I, <laughs> I totally screwed up on the USB-C connector, but leave in the comments on what this is called. I call it the new iPhone connector. You can call it the professional name or whatever. And what is this for? Well, this is so that you can use the battery bank function, okay? Let's say your battery is, is dead in your iPhone. You got your iPhone, we're gonna put this in here. You got your iPhone in there. You can go like this and it's gonna plug into the iPhone and that's going to charge your battery from the, you know, your iPhone's gonna be in like this and you're gonna plug the cable from the battery bank into the unit of your phone like that. And look, it's charging the phone. Okay, you can see here, it is charging it. So, pretty cool out in the field to keep your iPhone charged, all right, if, uh, if you're running out. And with that said, one of the problems is a little bit of lack of communication here. It did, it did not come with a charging cable for this unit. Now, I saw the manufacturer's video on them unboxing it. It was kind of a basic video, but in this plastic package right here, there was a USB charging cable packed in here, but I didn't have one. And I, I sent a couple of messages and they said, Oh no, just use your iPhone charger. No, it doesn't work that way because the iPhone case here has a, a regular, a standard, what is it? A USB a, a large USB connector here what device in the world charges with that? And, and I don't have a cable. I mean, I have a cable that's USB-A, I guess, on both sides, the big USB, but it doesn't charge. I'm guessing there's a certain cable they have created so that it charges this. This will work for uh, the, the battery bank, you know, to plug this into the battery bank, but how do you get charge this thing? So I'm pretty sure somebody forgot to pack the charging cable in mine, and they don't understand that when I try to ask them, hey, I need a charging cable for this. No, it doesn't come with a charging cable. You use your own. No, that's not it. So being that this is pre-production here or pre-release, hopefully they see this message and they decide to correct that and send me a charging cable because once this thing is dead, I'm out of luck and it goes right in here. Okay. So, um, that's that. Uh, it also comes with this here. I guess this is a uh, lanyard so that, uh, if you wanted to, strap it onto that thing and you're out in the field and it's swinging around. This looks to be, yes, a lanyard. I guess it's got a clip on here that you would clip probably, I don't know where, probably right here maybe, I don't know. Clip that on or something when your phone's in there and you can have it a lanyard. I'm not sure I'll use that. I'm not sure anybody's going to use that, but if you do, let me know. So I popped my unit in this case, and I gotta tell you, it fits extremely well. This turned my phone into like feeling like a, a brick, like a walkie-talkie. You know, I had this, this OtterBox case here, which really is kind of flimsy, um, and I've had it for a while. Magnetic closure or whatever. That's, I'll miss that part. But now that this snapped in there, and it's very, very solid, there's no movement. The buttons line up here on the side. When you push the buttons, uh, here, oops. You know, um, you push the buttons here, they are matching up on the side here, so it's not like the, you know, that's pretty cool. This, I, I really like the feel of this. I don't like 
chintzy, you know, I've seen these people walking around with iPhones without a case, and that bothers me. I mean, I used to work with a guy named Joe, if you're watching Joe, and this guy broke his phone every other week because he's got this little tiny iPhone, and it's real thin, and he's got to be cool with his shirt pocket, slip this thing in like a credit card, and it busts. I like big, bulky feeling phones. That's just me. Um, so, yes, it does fit in the case very nicely as, the, uh, as this model. This is the iPhone 6, okay? And um, you can see now that if I use this as a power bank, a little, yeah, a little out of the way here or in the way of this cable, but see, now I charge the phone that way. So I guess not to be really mobile with this thing in there, but set it on your dash and charge it that way, you know? You can do that for sure. So the UHF transmitter inside itself um, is rated at a half a watt or two watts. Low power, half a watt, high power, two watts. The thing that confuses me is I need to know that they say in the manual that you can program this with software and the cable and program the memories in here. However, I can't find any software or any help from the manufacturer yet as to where the software is or the cable to use to program it. So in the event that this is programmable, it would be definitely uh, helpful for those who want to put in a few frequencies. You know, right now I manually have in there 444.725 uh, in VFO mode, which is a local repeater. However, I can't set an offset. In the manual, it suggests that there is a simplex and duplex frequency uh, transmit, so you can transmit with an offset, but I don't see that in the menu. You know, if you click up here, I'll try to show you this. There's four buttons here. It says uh, up, function, uh, VFO, or memory, and down. So if I hit function and I start going up, so you have the volume, squelch, um, CTCSS tones, you have C, receive, and transmit, okay? Transmit power, high or low, uh, channel band, narrow or wide save so you, you want to turn it on so that way when you make changes it saves that um, the beep on and off the uh, step size 5 kilohertz to 100 kilohertz different various step sizes um, store the channel delete the channel timeout timer language and it goes back to volume so not a lot of changing what I did was I actually um, went to a uh, you know, I just went to VFO mode, like uh, if I went like this, there's three of them. You have, you know, when you program, you have channels, VFO or the channel and the frequency of that channel. So I went into VFO mode and I was just hitting down, 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 because it was like at 479.9 megahertz. So I just kept hitting down at 100 kilohertz steps to get down to this frequency. But um, it would be a lot easier if we could program in here with software and I'm awaiting to hear what's going to happen with that or if they're going to have it or if, what it happens. But for the most part, keep in mind that showing you this device means you need to understand that it will do frequencies above and below ham bands. You cannot, as a non-ham, you cannot use just any frequency you want. Um, I'm not, you know, people are going to, when they see this video, people are going to do whatever they want. People already bought bow phones. People are using uh, other, you know, handhelds that we have in the market that do ham bands and you can't stop that. I can't stop that. And, you know, I, bottom line is if you're going to use this for hiking or you use this for camping or your local uh, club or, or whatever, you're going to want to look online and program the frequencies that are not ham radio. That's up in the 464, 467, 469, the, F, the standard FRS frequencies. Um, because transmitting on something like 444.725, uh, unless you have a license to do that, you're going to get in trouble. So you don't, for those watching that are not hams, you don't want to get the people knocking at your door or, you know, finding out, um, that you're using unauthorized frequencies. So there are, you know, UHF, FRS and business band uh, or commercial frequencies that you can use. And for the hams that are watching, you can use the ham uh, frequencies on this, but you know, um, just showing you the device and it's up to you, the user, to use this appropriately, legally, without, you know, breaking laws of the FCC and uh, getting arrested or whatever, you know, happens. And your country may differ. If you're watching this in a different country where you have different FRS frequencies, your results may vary.
For the sake of this video, I'll just dial up this frequency real quick on my Yaesu FT2D and talk. Hello, test. Oh, test one, two, one, two, three. Oh my gosh, that's pretty loud. Let me see if I can turn down the volume on that. So if you hold, if you hold down for like three seconds, it goes to volume quick like, like this. There. This is KJ4YZI testing one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, it is pretty loud. I gotta say, with, it's, um, it's got a nice firing, rear firing speaker here. Um, and uh, doesn't sound muffled or anything. Hell, it sounds better than the speaker on my Yesu. No, uh, <laughs> no muffled or anything. That's half volume there, so you'll definitely hear that out in the field. Test one, two, KJ4, YZI test. Oh yeah, that's, that's quite loud. Uh, let me try the other way here. Turn the Yesu all the way up. Hello, test. Test one. Feedback here. Test one, two, three. KJ four YZI test. Okay, so it's um, the mic on the bottom here. As I talk into here, it's actually picking it up pretty good. It's got a really good sound of speaker and a, a clear sounding transmitter. Um, but I think the, the missing key here is programming. So uh, you know, definitely needs to be able to be programmed on the computer uh, would make it a lot easier for storing various channels and such. Here it is, banggood.com. Kind of looks like a Chinese version of Amazon with the stolen little smiley face here. <laughs> Um, so this looks like a Chinese Amazon and I haven't ordered from here yet, but so from what I understand, this started as like a project on Indiegogo, then turned into now we're taking pre-orders. There are only two pre-orders here at the time of this video arrived due to arrive on October 30th, $59.99 for this case. I think that is a great price because I've seen other attempts at making walkie-talkie cases for several hundred dollars and nobody really bought it because they weren't sure if it was going to be worth it for them or not. For $59, I guess you can't go wrong. Um, and you can be on the, you know, see where this thing develops or I'm going to try to get a hold of the uh, manufacturer and, and get the programming and stuff down so that we can get this a little more, you know, if you're interested in this, we can see exactly what we can do with it. Maybe we can tie in, you know, have analog repeaters right on our iPhone or, or you know, program it uh for FRS channels, I'm not sure. Uh, different models here, 4.7, 5.5, iPhone 10, green or yellow. I have the orange one like this. All right. Um, so they did make, they have quite a video here that they've uh, produced that <laughs> looks a little better than any of my videos. I mean, they got some some graphics on these uh, videos showing this, uh, you know, maybe not this one here, but uh, th there's a couple of them. Uh, with their star here on the <laughs> on the video, anyways. So the battery bank, um, 3,500 milliamp an hour, uh, high capacity. So that should be. I mean, when you go on eBay and you look at these power banks that say 100,000 milliamp hour, no, no, doesn't happen. They're they're all you know they're all blowing smoke up your rear end. You're getting like a 3,000, 4,000, maybe a 5,000 milliamp hour. Um, battery bank when you order those ones on eBay that tell you they're a hundred thousand milliamps that's a hundred amps it's not gonna happen so um, they're all blowing you know proportions right out the window so this is uh, 3500 milliamps so you can check out this site the link is in the description the frequency range of this is 400 through 480 but on this site um, it, it shows down here like uh, a U.S. version frequency band, it does way more than this because I had mine up to 479 megahertz and even went down below 440. So I'm not sure what these numbers mean. I think that's a misprint maybe. I mean, that is achievable uh, with this unit, but why are they only listing these frequencies? I don't know. That's not FRS. That's right at the upper end of the FM portion for repeaters on UHF, and it does way more than this. It does go 400 to 480. So I'm not sure what that is. Um, and there's your, you know, your specs here. So this says battery capacity 4,800 milliamps. So you got to kind of take it with a grain of salt. Um, here's your reset button I told you about in the back. So other than that, um, you know, let me know what you think about this. 
let me know if you're interested and I'll let you know if I get any more information and make an update video on this. Okay guys, so I'm, I'm, let me know what you think. I'm digging the case, just the feel of it. I really like the case. You know what I don't really like is there's no belt clip here. Although, my OtterBox didn't have a belt clip either. So I'm not losing anything from what I had on my original case. And I guess the new, the new era of kids and adults use the little thing on here that they stick on there and they can hold the case. <laughs> I don't have one of those. Maybe you can stick it right on here. But other than that, the, uh, the first ever, from my knowledge, UHF walkie-talkie power bank case for the iPhone is right here in my hand. And you saw it here first on Ham Radio Concepts. So make sure you subscribe so you can see other things like this. Uh, when they come out, you get notifications and you can follow along. 73, leave your comments below, and thanks for watching. This is KJ4YZI.